Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. If you are on here and didn't catch it, I have the NFL recap, the draft recap. We talked about the winners and losers, talked about um, the grades, and broke down our prediction of who's going to win the um the comp the, um, the divisions. So you know, we're not gonna go, we went into that from the draft perspective. Uh, make sure you guys check that video out. Also, I got a video out, Black Irish with Blue Eyes. A little, it's a quick story talking about the original Irish, Irish men and women. Also, why are you surprised volume eight is out about Warner Brothers? And I also got a clip from Shaq on all the smoke. Um, and then night hours part 15, you know, those are my night hours. I basically talk when I get off of work and, um, and then I had the morning edition NFL draft day one recap. So make sure you guys check those videos out, man. We have been doing well, man. I appreciate everybody bringing the love and support. You know, we're growing slowly, but we're growing surely, man. I want to bring you content. It's not about the quantity to me. It's about the quality I bring to you guys. And when I opened the stream yard up, we had some new people on there. Um, I think his name was Swall or Saul. That was cool. He hopped on there. He gave some insight to football. It was great hearing a, another perspective on Burundi Sledge. What's happening with you, baby? My boy was on there. We got into it a little bit, but <laughs> but it's fun in debate. See, that's how you debate, man. You could debate and have an agreement of disagreement, and you could move on. And that's something that is wrong with a lot of LeBrownie fans. And Michael Jordan, I like to call him his baldness. You guys love to, y'all love to go crazy when somebody has a different opinion about them. Like, if you guys didn't like Kobe, I don't care because I know what I saw. <laughs> That's like me if I'm in the store. I see that chick. I think she bad. You may be like, I seen better. That's cool. <laughs> you know, different strokes for different folks. So, now, I wanted to talk about this real quick. Um. Wanted to talk about this with you guys. Now, Vanessa Bryant is going to release a Mamba Sita clothing line in honor of Gianna's birthday, which I believe was yesterday or the day before. Um, the line will be available in children's and unisex sizes, and all proceeds go to the Mamba and Mamba Sita Sports Foundation. Vanessa Bryant. Widow of NBA star Kobe Bean Bryant has revealed the first official release for the Mamba Sita clothing line in honor of their daughter, Gianna Gigi Bryant, who died in a fatal hel helicopter crash with her father and seven others in January 2020. Set to be released on what would have been Gianna's 15th birthday, Mrs. Bryant shared a preview to the as leisure at leisure wear on instagram she and her daughters posed in the merchandise set to be released for a purchase on saturday may 1st in honor of my Gigi's 15th birthday she wrote happy birthday gg 100 percent of the proceeds go to the mamba and mamba c the sports foundation unisex and kids sizes are available the clothing features mamba cedar across the chest and has a number two inside a heart on the top of the left leg one version displayed is offered in a black and white tie-dye print with the text and logo in red. The other has a white and periwinkle tie-dye pattern. The Grio reported the Bryant family filed trademarks for Mamba and Mamba Cedar in March. An attorney for the Bryant family filed the trademark application for Mamba and Mamba Cedar on March 10th. The plan is to use the trademark for clothing such as shirts, pants, socks, hoodies, jackets, and more. As of now, there's no clear mention if a sneaker line will be birthed under the brand. Since they're ultimately passing, Kobe's estate has filed for several trademarks, including Mamba Sports Academy, Mamba Sita, Lady Mambas, and Lil Mambas. After playing in the NBA for 20 years, Kobe spent his retirement being a coach and mentor to the next generation of ballers at the Mamba Sports Academy, a training facility he opened in two California locations for children interested in sports gianna 13 was a player for the mamba's girls team 
as Gianna started to make a name for herself with her impressive basketball skills similar to those of her father, it only made sense that she adapted the nickname Mambasita. Shortly after the trademarks were filed, Vanessa revealed Kobe's estate will not renew the contract with Nike after the five-year endorsement extension expired this month per Espen. This decision was not made lightly and came from her frustration with the athletic brand. Reportedly, Brian and the estate had grown frustrated with Nike limiting the availability of Kobe's products during his retirement and after his January 2020 death in the helicopter crash. There was also frustration with the lack of availability of Kobe footwear and kid sizes, according to sources. Vanessa shared a statement with ESPN, or I like to call him Esmond, and supporters via her Instagram story explaining the tough decision. My hope will always be to allow Kobe's fans to get and wear his products. Vanessa continued, I will continue to fight for that. Kobe's products sell out in seconds. That says everything. I was hoping to forge a lifelong partnership with Nike that reflects my husband's legacy. We will always do everything we can to honor Kobe and Gigi's legacy. That will never change. According to People in February, Mamba and Mamba Cedar Sports Foundation announced the hiring of Kat Conlon, an experienced nonprofit executive as its first executive director. I am so proud to have Kat Conlon come on board as our executive director. Vanessa Bryant, Mamba and Mamba Cedar Sports Foundation Board of Directors President said in a statement, she brings an abundance of knowledge and experience that embodies supporting young women in equal opportunity. The foundation was created to fund programs in undeserved communities and further Kobe and Gianna's legacies through youth sports and charitable actions. <laughs> so that's a big shout out to um, Vanessa Bryant, Vanessa Bean Bryant. Um, you got to give it up to her, man. Every day, this is hard, especially when you lose somebody close. So, I'm happy for her, even though her mom, to me, is in the wrong for trying to sue her while she's going through this grief of losing somebody and her mom doing some snakish things. And it happens. Sometimes family members are your worst enemy. They are. If you're doing better than them, they not going to like it. They not going to support it at all. So, with this being said, I hope one day she can make some um Kobe gear so we can start rocking it. You know, I hope um she can do that. So all of us can rock it and we can have something to um, brag about. Because people got to understand, we grew up with Kobe. We watched Kobe go from a youngster out of high school to a grown man with kids and a family. A man who made mistakes. A man who came out of it unscathed. A man who showed and proved to the older generations that I belong here. A man who got the recognition of the guy he was chasing. So, and he stayed with one team, showing loyalty at his finest, even when they weren't loyal to him. Thank you for listening, and we are out. Deezy. <laughs>